All right, so let's start solving one step equations. So we're not gonna um, go further, we're just doing one step, but um, the really important thing is this first part for you to understand the kind of the basis of the whole thing for equations. So when solving an equation, it's like balancing a scale. Both sides must remain equal. So that means whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. That's the whole point of the equal sign. That's what makes both sides equal. So let's take a visual for a second, and we're going to balance this scale. So let's focus on the one on the left because it's much easier with something very concrete versus more abstract with numbers. So if I wanted to balance this scale, right now I have two circles and three triangles on the left and then nothing on the right. So if I need to balance that, I need to add the exact same thing. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the same order, but it needs to represent the same thing. So I need to have two circles and three triangles on this side. So go ahead and draw that in. So notice how I flip-flopped where they were, but it still keeps it equal because they have the same thing happening. Okay, And if I were to take something away, for example, if I took one circle away from this side, I would need to take one circle away from this side. Or let's say I added a square to this side, I would need to add that square to this side. It has to stay balanced. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other. So same idea here, except that it's more finding that missing number. Um, so we can see that 3 plus what gives you 7? And so I need to add 4 more to that side in order for this side to equal 7. Right now it was in balance, so I had to add 4 to that side. Um, but what I could have done is taken away 3 from this side and take away 3 from this side to see what was left for that question mark, and again, it would be 4. So we're going to take this idea and apply it to our number. So first off, here are the rules for solving equations. The whole goal for the equation is to find what the variable is. So in order to do that, the variable must be alone or isolated on one side of the equation. So that's what we're doing. So we're always looking at that side with the variable and figuring out, well, what's happening to it? So I need to undo that, which moves on to the next step, which is in order to isolate the variable, you need to do the opposite operation, right? So you need to undo whatever's happening to it. And then in order to keep going, you have to keep the equation, it must remain balanced. Okay? It has to stay balanced. So that's, again, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. You can't just poof, do it to one side. You have to make sure you do it to others. Now, I know these equations are only one step, so it's going to be fairly simple, but this is laying the groundwork for you in the future with other math classes. So you always have to try and get that variable by itself. In order to do that, you undo what's happening, so use the opposite operation. And then you have to do the same thing to both sides. Do not move on until you've done that to both sides, okay? So let's try a couple practice problems, all right? So just this first row, um, we've got addition, addition, subtraction. So let's just start with this first one. Right now we have y plus 6 equals 9. Yes, I know you can do that in your head. We are still going to show the work because remember, we always start off easy and then that helps us with build the foundational skills to get to more difficult problems, okay? So right now, when I look at that variable, it is having um, 6 added to it. So in order to get that y by itself, which is our goal, we need to undo that. So in order to undo it, we need to do the opposite of adding 6, which is subtracting 6. But again, I can't do that just to one side. I have to do it to the other. And so I also will need to subtract 6 on this side. And the reason we do that is because, again, in order to have y by itself, we undo what is happening. And so this plus 6 and then minus 6, now we're just going to end up with 0, and so y will be by itself on this side. But then again, we're doing the same thing to the other side, so 9 minus 6 gives us 3, so our equation is y equals 3 and we isolated that variable by itself, okay? And that would be your answer. So you can either circle it, put a box around it, whatever, okay? So let's try another one. All right, so I'm looking at it, and we have 8 equals a plus 5.1, okay? And so right now, if I, because I'm focusing on the variable, that's my goal, is to get that by itself. Right now, it has 5.1 being added to it. So in order to isolate that variable, I need to subtract 5.1 from it. I need to get rid of that. But I cannot just do that to one side. I have to do it to the other side as well. And the reason I lined it up this way is because then it's also lining up the decimal. So if you want to put a point zero here to get your decimal, um, you can. Um, because we want us to follow the same rules we always have with adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, decimals or fractions or whole numbers, okay? We follow the same rules. So take a moment and see if you can figure it out.
and you end up with 2.9 equals a because we had to borrow from that 8 to get um, to subtract the 1 from nothing. So 2.9. Okay, so now when I look at this next one, we have b minus 3 equals 4, and so I have subtraction happening. So I'm taking 3 away from b, so in order to get b by itself, I'm going to have to add 3 to it. Okay, because again, negative 3, if I add 3 to it, now I'm at 0, so it's just like what we were doing over here. But again, have to do it to both sides, so I'm going to add 3 here. And I want to pause just for a second because I really want to remind you that I understand you can do some of these in your head. That's all great and fine and dandy, but I have to see your work. So your work should look exactly the same as mine. See how I have things lined up? I'm keeping the equal signs in line. If you actually want to draw a line through your equal sign to keep it all lined up, that can be really helpful so that you don't lose track of what's on what side. So if you want to do that, you can, um, but again, you have to show your work exactly like this. I'm going to get super picky about that, um, so you absolutely have to show it on both sides. If you're not showing it on both sides, or not showing it at all, we're going to have a big issue. So please, please, please show your work just like mine. That's why I put it up here for you, okay? Anyways, to finish out, B will be by itself, and it equals 7, okay?